Well, howdy, y'all, and welcome to Quahog, Texas, and episode two of my Ghost of Tsushima playthrough. And uh, like I was saying last episode, so far, very impressed with the game. The visuals, the graphics, the stories, it, it looks like it's going to be an amazing game, just like I've heard that it is. Um, so uh, without further ado, let's play Ghost of Tsushima. So where are we headed here? Follow the wind. So this way, huh? Hiya! Oh, okay. <laughs> Oops. <coughs> I notice, I guess there's not really a map. You just follow the wind. I mean, it's, it's different than most other games. Usually there's some type of a map or something, but. This one, follow the. Uh oh. That's you know. I'm going the right way, right? <laughs> oh. I can pick flowers? Flowers. Okay. Cool. Didn't know I could do that. Uh -oh. What we got going on here? Good or bad? Jin, oh. you found me. Yeah. No. What's up? It's all right. You handle that well. I should have heard him coming. Let myself get distracted. These people saw Mongols marching prisoners upriver. They had a blacksmith with them. Your brother? Sounds like it. They were taking him to a camp near the Canada Inlet. I know the place. Hmm. Okay. The Warrior's Code. Did you find any samurai to free your uncle? Not yet. But I'm still searching. I'm sure you'll find someone soon. Okay. So... Follow the wind. Taka can help you. After we save him. Hard to believe I might see him soon. He's lucky to have you. He might disagree. That's what siblings are for. What about you? Any brothers or sisters? Oh, we got Lord here. Shimura is my only family. What will you do when he's free? Take a breath. Because then I'll know there's hope for our island. You feel that strongly? I've watched him win victory against impossible odds. And after your brother is free, what then? Honestly, I haven't had time to think about it. And the thunder rolls. You're riding well. How are your wounds? Mostly healed. Your bandages did the trick. You don't share much about how you feel, do you? I suppose you're right. My uncle taught me that a samurai masters his emotions, like you master a horse or a blade. That's a hard way to live. It's not supposed to be easy. Okay. 
you would. There's a spot up ahead that overlooks the river. Should give us a good view of the Mongol camp. There's the camp. Tough to get inside. The Mongols threw that place together in days. There has to be a way in. Let's look. Where is it? Oh, it's that way, okay. There. Survey. Oh, okay. We need to reach Taka <laughs> without putting him in danger. We'll find a safe approach. Hmm. You could scale the rocks on that side. If they're loose, they might give way. Alert the guards. Front wall there is still under construction. Could be a way in. Okay. We can look for a gap in the front wall. Slip inside. And cut down the Mongols where they stand. If something goes wrong, they'll kill the prisoners. I've seen them do it. We have to go in quietly. Like thieves. What's wrong with that? Before the samurai. This island was ruled by criminals. We changed that by creating order and delivering justice in the open. We live by a code of honor. And sometimes we die by it. Warriors like my father, who just wanted to give us a safer home. I want the same thing. But we have to fight back. I promised my uncle I'd never break our code. Then bend it. To save my family. And what's left of yours. Let's get a closer look. See what we're up against. We should wait until it gets darker. She said bend, let's don't move. break. Well, let's move. Right. We're headed this way. Find the gap near... The camp's gates. Taka, he's been through a lot, even before the invasion. But you took care of him. Someone had to. He hated when I stole. But it was that or starve. He mm. didn't have a choice. I didn't choose to be a samurai either. But going against my instincts, my code. It's better than getting wiped out by the Mongols. We have to fight back <clears throat> any way we can. You would. So what do I do with this? You would. And how much of it can I pick up? <laughs> hmm. Through here. Now we better stay quiet. That's what she said. And open their throats. Uh oh. Stab the Mongol in the back.
like a pig. What do you think, Jin? The bear's running with a limp. Your arrow wounded him. This is when a beast is most dangerous. Remain alert. Yes, uncle. Keep after him. I didn't think bears lived here. They don't. But the fighting in Yarikawa drove some this way. So it's the rebels' fault. We should feed them to this bear as punishment. We are not barbarians, Jin. Right. Is it supposed to be that bright? Dang. Not going the right way. <laughs> Follow the bear tracks. The bear stumbled here. Is it dying? No. But we are getting closer. Stay ready, Jin. Yes, Uncle. If it's still alive, can I take the shot? Prove you can control your emotions. Then, perhaps. We got him! Careful! He could still be alive. This arrow should not have killed him. Hmm. Look, Uncle. There's a gash in his side. Not from an arrow. An assassin! From Yarikawa! Traitor! You would stab the Chido in the back! Rosakai! Control yourself. We are not criminals, like this man here. We are samurai. He tried to kill you! He must answer for this crime with his life. And look him in the eye. And teach him that samurai never acts out of anger or fear. And take his life with honor. Dang. He split his head open. Ooh. When we fight, we face our enemy head on. And when we take their life, we look them in the eye with courage and respect. This is what makes us samurai. Strike from the shadows. Ooh. Well, Jin, what's wrong? Let's find your brother. I can't let them see us. Use all your senses. Think and move like a thief.
Uh oh. Okay. That was close. Uh oh. So records. Gear. Okay. Salmon. Go around this way. There, a prisoner. Taka? Let's find out. No, it's not Taka. <laughs> In. How'd you get in here? We need to go. We'll talk when it's safe. Come on. Let's get to the river. We'll be safe there. Are you with the Straw Hat Ronin? Mm. I was. Cut ties with them after they started running low on rations. Lord Shimmer has been captured, and I could use some extra swords to free him. Are you looking for work? No. But the other Straw Hats may be. Last I heard, they were hunting Mongols in Tsitsu Prefecture, by the coast near the Kishi grasslands. Help. 
I this guess way. I'll, okay. <laughs> I guess I'll figure out what to do with these flowers. We're looking and... for my brother, a blacksmith named Taka. Don't know him, but a lot of prisoners move through here. You said they were moving the slaves. Where? They mentioned Asimo Bay. And there was a blacksmith in the last group. Young man with a beard. Hmm. From Yarikawa, maybe. You'd better be right. I hope you find your blacksmith. Taka's alive in Asimo Bay. The town is surrounded by walls. Rushing in without a plan will only put him in more danger. I have a friend who might be able to get us inside. Find him. The sooner we rescue Tucker, the sooner we save my uncle. Jin. Tucker will forge whatever tool you need as soon as he's free. But after that, we're leaving the island. You've seen what the Mongols are doing here. Lord Shimura can stop them. Stay. Help us fight for a home. Home is wherever Tucker and I go. My friend lives in Asmo Prefecture, on the border with Tsutsu. I'll find you there. I know this wasn't easy. Going against your code. I did what I had to. Thank you. So, Canada. Lord Shimura. You deserve better than this. Convince your people to stop resisting, and you can walk free. Stop wasting my time. Kill me. Mm, you think you've lost everything. But your nephew is still alive. <laughs> my men control the roads. They build war camps near your towns. They see everything, and they will find him. Lord Sakai will fight until his last breath, as will I. You love him, just as you love your people. You're a father to them. Will you abandon your children? I won't make them your slaves. Good point. All right. The Warrior's Code.
Time the linen. See that guy. Oh. Where are you? Oh, there you are. <laughs> Let's go. That's fine. Let's go. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, easy there. Oh, we go running off the cliffs now. Interesting. There we go. Okay. Oh! Didn't mean to do that. Hmm. Sensei Ishikawa's Dojo. Sensei Ishikawa's dojo. There was a struggle here. Better look around. Dried blood. The fight wasn't recent. Someone was wounded. Remove the arrow. Bloody footprints. The victim or the attacker? Maybe the sensei is in his house. Humble home for a samurai. Oh. Don't move. Sensei Ishikawa. Lord Sakai's boy. You survived Komoda. Mm -hmm. We could have used your bone. 
I was on my way when bandits attacked me. Are you expecting them to return? The samurai is never caught by surprise. <sighs> I'm sorry about Lord Shimura. He was a good man. He's alive. Taken captive by the Mongols. Then there's hope. That's why I've come. Help me save him. I can't. My student is missing. A skilled archer. I will help you look. Then you can both help me free Lord Shimura. Hmm. Try and keep up, Sakai. made it out of Kumuda. No one knows. Are there any others who can fight back? Besides us? I don't know yet. You'd better find out quickly. We can't free your uncle by ourselves. I can help track your student. I need no help tracking Tomoe. Tomoe? A woman? From what clan? No clan. A peasant. But she can outshoot any samurai I know. <laughs> Even you, Sakai. <laughs> The last time I saw you was ten years ago. You came to study with me. You remember? I remember most of the students I reject. Instead you took this Tomoe as your student. You showed promise. Tomoe is a prodigy. Mongols! Take them! <laughs> They fight like drunk Tanuki. They fought well enough at Komoda. Even Tanuki can catch a tiger when it's sleeping. Moist trail picks up here. Come! The Mongols took Fort Nakayama. The patrol likely came from there. That's close to the hot springs. The town will be the next to fall. Something happened here. An ambush. Look around. Rice and millet. Left uneaten. The attack was sudden. Blood. Not much. No one died. A Japanese quiver. A gift to my greatest student. I fear the worst. Uh oh. Tomoe would never leave that quiver behind. Unless she was pursued. Or captured. To what end? Interrogation. Torture. Worse. They may be doing the same to Lord Shimura. Fear is a weapon, Sakai. Do not let the Mongols use it against you. Your student. Where would they take her? Fort Nakayama. The fort is nearby. I should have fought the Komura with you. Better you didn't. You lost enough there. Why did the samurai fail? The Mongols fought like animals. Wrong answer. I saw it with my own eyes. An archer's aim relies not on eyes, but on body, mind, and spirit. Stop here. We need to talk. What's wrong, Sensei? This bow was a gift to me from Lord Nagao many years ago. It's a beautiful weapon. Of course it is. And there's nothing more painful to me than a perfect bow ineptly used. Then it's a good thing you're giving it to me. <sighs> Who said anything about giving? Prove you can shoot straight. I'll let you borrow it. 
<laughs> Try it out before we go into battle. Aim for that lamp closest to us. The further the target, the more your arrow drops. Focus, Sakai! I'm getting used to the grip. Now the one further down the road, on the left. Don't make me regret this. I'd hate to add to such a long list. Not bad. Let's see if you can hit the one furthest away. How does it feel? Like it was made for me. It wasn't. So <laughs> take good care of it. Let's go. A bow like this would have helped at Komodo. It is a good bow, but victory is won by warriors, not weapons. You haven't seen the Mongols fire weapons. They have not yet won. Fort Nakayama. I hope your student is inside. We'll get a better look at the defenses from up there. Should we be on my horse? Now, or... You're supposed to be walking on foot. <laughs> uh, this spot is perfect. Okay. I'll find a way in. Open the gate. Do we hit them? Do you always charge into battle with your Hakama half-tied? You have a better idea? Patience, Sakai. The Mongols will send men to find their missing patrol. When they open the gates, we strike. The longer we delay, the longer Tomoe remains in danger. She can take care of herself. Survey the battlefield. What can we use to our advantage? They have many archers. They're skilled, but we are better. An arrow in those hanging lights will kick up sparks. <laughs> and start fires. Those barrels could do some damage. We'll find out. Hornet nests. One shot could stir them up. Mm. The Mongols will face the sting of insects and arrows. When the gates open, distract the enemy and rain arrows on their heads. Then we storm the fort and free Tomoe. Good. Now we wait. Hmm. They're opening the gates. Wait for my signal. shooting me. Seriously.
sits back here getting shot. Inside. Not for long. That's Why was that so hard? <laughs> okay. Just, they're perfect shots. Every time they're perfect shots. How, like, how, I can't heal. Need more resolve to heal, right? I don't, I'm, I'm about to die right here. What, like, what's my homeboy doing? He ain't even shooting anyone. I'm out of arrows. I'm out of arrows. Holy mackerel. I didn't think this game was supposed to be hard like this. Maybe I'm just bad. Honestly, that's probably it. I'm just bad. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, return. Oh, did he finally kill somebody? Slain prisoners, oh, tied up, killed with arrows. Tomoe isn't. Wait, this pendant belongs to her. Search the fort. terms with Mongolian translations. Hmm. Your name is mentioned. She was teaching them 
My way of the bow. Someone's personal quarters. A woman's kimono. Tomoe's kimono. The Mongols freed her. Why? Hmm. That's a good question. Okay, what's in here? Nothing. What am I missing here? Damn. Hmm. Missing here. So we need to investigate. We're investigating. It's over here. All right. What am I missing? Oh, we got the access. Just supplies. Hmm. Oh. Oh, these arrows are Japanese. They're Tomoe's arrows. You are sure? I taught her to make the knock with deer horn. And that curve of the eagle feathers. So the Mongols took her weapons? The shots are tightly clustered. No Mongol shoots Japanese arrows with such skill. Huh. Then they allowed her to use a bow. Hmm. Do you hear that? A survivor. Help. Please! It's so cold! We're looking for a woman. An archer. The Mongols caged her with us. But they set her free. Gave her armor and a bow. She killed my wife. And the others. The bodies we found. Oh. She proved her skill to the enemy. And they recruited her. Please. It 
It hurts. Don't leave me. Oh. I've seen enough. Let's go. I should have killed her. Sensei? The more he won her freedom. And she joined the Mongols. Why would she do that? What happened? I pushed her too hard. Pushed her how? What are you hiding? Sensei! I demand an answer! She attacked me. Not bandits. Tomoe. Why? She has no idea what it means to be samurai. You drove her to the Mongols. Do not judge me. Do not lie to me. I can't let Tomoe teach my way of the bow to the enemy. Then we will stop her. This is my fight. I don't need your weapon. No, you need me. Victory is won by warriors. Not weapons. Lord Shimura raised you well. We'll hunt them away together, but we do it my way. And when the time comes, you will help rescue my uncle. You have my word, Sakai. I will prepare to hunt them away. When you are ready, meet me at my dojo. We can't rescue my uncle alone. I need more people to join our fight. Fine lady Masako Adachi. If she's still alive, she is one of the finest warriors on the island. The tail of Sensei. Okay, so. What now? Well, that's going to do it for episode 2 of my Ghost of Tsushima playthrough. I got to say, this game's fun. It is pretty fun. It's uh, a little more difficult than I thought it was going to be in some areas, but I did just start playing it, so still a bit of a learning curve, but uh, definitely a fun game. And again, the visuals, the graphics are, are just breathtaking. All right, so uh, stay tuned and catch us next time for episode 3. All right, see you then.